overflows. Life, love and light, the work plan for the book. Insights into life, love and light. The entire book is divided into three segments or we can say there are three pillars around which the entire subject matter of the book revolves. Life is the first pillar or the beginning. This is the point where the person is. This is the point where, from where everyone begins his journey of life towards the outer dimension or the inner. And from this point, the journey begins. This beginning is Alpha. The entire journey is between Alpha and Omega. Alpha is the beginning, which is life, and Omega is the end, which is light. So journey is from life to light. But these are two shores um, between which the journey of life flows. But there has to be something which connects the two or bridges these two shores. Alpha the beginning and Omega the end. These are two shores between which life energy can flow. The author begins the book from the Alpha point where she found herself after a life of certain years disarrayed and confused within and without both. This state she beautifully describes in the following words. Although she begins with her story, but soon she moves from personal story to the story of each one of us. This is Tantra V. In Vigyan Bhairava Tantra, Devi asks Shiva the personal questions what is this wonderful universe? What is thy reality? And things and questions like these. Then soon she moves from personal touch to the cosmic touch. The author begins, whatever the present moment brings, accept it as if you had chosen it. It is a very strong message. Remember, it contains infinite possibilities for you. Of these, you are unaware in the beginning. These will be available to you only when you accept this very moment totally. Remember, this is for you alone and no one else can access this. Also, it contains your unconscious and subconscious memory that you have to relive if that may be necessary. However, once you accept, your path will be clear and the journey of transcendence will not only begin, instead gain momentum. We spend nearly 20 to 25 years of our precious life in university campuses learning this discipline or the other. We graduate from the universities with honors, degrees and credentials. At the time we are leaving the university, we are told, now your education is complete and you can enter the world meaning the world outside. Most of us have no idea what lies ahead of us. The education system in the universities prepare us for outer life. 
most of us have no idea what lies ahead of us. We have answers for questions relating to chemistry, physics, philosophy, etc. But we have no answers to the simple questions that life asks on a day-to-day -day basis. And we find ourselves in conflict and inner chaos. Such was my situation and life. Disarrayed, confused and full of conflict. Like any other person, we start our sex lives very early, just after puberty or in some cases even before without knowing what we are entering into. We are entering the Pandora's box or something else. We are not sure. None, no one knows really. We do not consider sex could be anything other than what we know. Have no idea at alpha point that what we merely consider as sex or ready to enter is nothing but existential bioenergy. It has, one has to understand its nature, role in the process of transformation. One has to understand its nature and its role in the process of transformation. For transformation, you need energy. But the energy that existence has given to you is known as existential bioenergy. She continues, I was born and grew up in the European environment of Germany. As a result, my life was not different than that of any other person of my age. In such an open cultural environment, the journey begins with the first relationship with great enthusiasm, soon ends up in chaos, ventures into another, again the same fate. This we consider life, life of success in certain fields and failure in most important aspects of our life and living. This was my life, all chaos, ignorance and conflict in spite of university honors and excellence in music. We consider that when puberty and maturity comes, we can start a sex life together because life means the sex life, entering into relationships. There is a prescribed age when one can get a driving license. Also, one gets voting right after a certain age. But sadly enough, there is no such age prescribed for starting a sex life. My life began in the same way and soon ended up in this area. I was stumbling in such an ocean of chaos with no way to swim across to reach the other shore. There was no way to return to the near shore. But there was a deep inner voice that one day a ray of light will penetrate through the thick layer of chaos and ignorance. The light will find even a small opening to reach. Life continued. Sometimes turbulent, sometimes smooth, but deep down there was this certitude that one day light will enter even 
the dark and thick layers of ignorance. Then one day, the time of the destined meeting arrived. I knew on the dumb bosom of this oblivious glow, although as unknown beings we seem to meet, but we are not aliens, nor as strangers join. We are bound to each other by a causeless force. The soul recognizes the answering soul. It is the journey of the soul, not the journey of the body. Inner journey is the journey of transcendence and it is the journey of the soul. But it has to pass through various dimensions. Mind is one of them. Then one day the time of destined meeting arrived. I saw the glimpses of light in a mortal form. I could relate, talk, cry and open my heart, feel comfortable. Here is someone who has understood me and is standing by my side through various ebbs and flows of life. Now, here is someone who has understood me and is standing by my side through various ebbs and flows of life. All my problems and all that I was ignorantly nourishing within unto now, the time has come to get a deeper insight into those. Thus began the journey of transformation from life to light, or from alpha to omega, first slowly, with so many doubts lurking behind my conscious mind, but the communion, both silent and in words, slowly and slowly continued. In that light, many conflicts began to recede like the defeated army. The journey continued. You reach different milestones along the journey, but a still journey continues until the flowering really happens until flowering really happens, you see light beyond the narrow thoroughfare of life. Enough for now.